2 no one surprise playing blue-white control. Pretty much the same build that he's had before. This is um, this is a Quicken build. It, it's kind of a hybrid. It, it's a Detention Sphere build that still plays Quicken, actually. So. Yeah, I, I think Chihoy just values having like the early game cantrips, allow him to hit his land drops and find what he needs. Yeah, he is up a game on Tomblin, who's playing Mono Black Devotion, bringing you into the game. Tomblin has, has had a Underworld Connections that has stick, been able to stick, which is usually good in this matchup. However, it looks like Chihoy has landed Aetherling, a card that once it's on the table is very difficult for Mono Black to deal with. Yeah, I mean, normally it's like, uh, from the mono black side, you you can use your life as a resource. The blue white control deck is not really pressuring you. But then they play an Aetherling, and it's like, oh crap! Uh, I I was at ten life, and now you just have a two turn clock on me. And before, where Thomas, I'm sure, was trying to just like grind Chi Hoy out, now he actually has to try and deal him the last six points of damage. Yeah, Thomas draws a card and passes back. This Aetherling could be lethal. You see Chi Hoy go ahead and drawing five on the end step. It's it looks like a pretty good spot for him. So Tomblin's going to have to hope to Hero's Downfall this Aetherling just to buy himself a turn until he can start Grey Merchanting, I mm -hmm. would think. But then the question is, did Chihoi find a Counterspell? He certainly had a lot of cards to look for it. Aetherling swings. Tomlin's going to go for Hero's Downfall. And he's going to buy himself a turn. Aetherling blinks out. Yeah, so Thomas, it looks like he was down to one mana there. So I think if Chihoi did have the Counterspell, he, he probably would have just used it there trying to force through Lethal Attack. Um, so if Thomas does find a Grey Merchant, uh, he's, he's still going to need something else to get above 8 life. Well, I think it looks like Chihoy has, has drawn Revelation off his Revelation. So he has a Detention Sphere, Font of Fortunes. See, Jace here is going to find more cards for him. So maybe he doesn't have more life gain at the moment, but it seems he just has a lot of cards here. So I'd be surprised if Tomlin can get through 8 damage or even gain five life, which might give him a turn. Right, if he can gain enough. Draw Sign and Blood for the turn. Almost enough to try to Sign and Blood his opponent. He's gonna go ahead and go to one. He's gonna Thought Seize here. I would think he has the hero's downfall if he's gonna Thought Seize here. Chihoi is gonna Azorius Charm, drawing a card in response. And now we'll see the hand, it's a Divination, an Azorius Charm, a Detention Sphere, and two lands. Charm will go away. And Grey Merchant of Asphodel, the play for Tomblin. It's for four. I don't see how this Which, is going to survive the Aetherling attack. Though. No, I mean, it's it's good, right? Like, yeah. But it's not good enough. And you got to think someone like Chihoi is, is going to know how to use his Aetherling, you know? But right. There was a chance Tom was, was yeah, yeah, you see Chihoy gets the win there. Interestingly enough, he was one point away from being able to Grey Merchant drain Chihoy and then Sign and Blood targeting Chihoy. That would only have put him to one, but he almost had enough damage there, yeah. it looks like. And you see two.